Hello and welcome to Station Ears. My name is Bigfoot and today we're doing an introductory lesson into dual tracking solar panels. Uh, super simple, super easy. All you need is just a couple of items. Um, first one that you're going to need is your screwdriver uh, to adjust all the various pins on the devices. Uh, second one is your labeler uh, to help label everything and make it easier to see what you're selecting. You're going to need a daylight sensor from your sensor kit, your solar panels, you're going to need two memories, two logic readers, two math units, and two batch writers. The difference between a batch writer and a regular writer, the batch writer will write out to multiples of the same items. So if you have multiple solar panels, the batch writer will write to all of them at one time versus the writer will only write to one of them um, at a time. So let's get started. The sun's about to come up. Um, so the first thing we need to do is set up our memory to 90. The math on vertical angle is always 90 minus the vertical angle on our sensor. Now I've already gone ahead and pre-labeled everything either V or H depending on what section we're going to be working with uh, because on our daylight sensor we have a vertical and a horizontal angle. Um, so V is for vertical, H is for horizontal. So uh, let's move on to the logic reader. Uh, so our vertical reader we're going to take in the um, daylight sensor and we're going to select the vertical and when we turn that on we should see that the daylight vertical angle is 92 which corresponds to 92 on our sensor perfect next we're going to come over here to the math unit so again the math is always 90 minus the vertical angle of the sensor so we're going to take in our vertical memory that has our 90 we're going to subtract from the uh, vertical reader because uh, that, that's what we're reading from the sensor. And then we're going to come over here to our batch writer. We're going to take in the vertical math unit. The output from it. There it is. We're going to write out to our solar panels. And we're going to write to the vertical angle. So now it should be coming down. It is definitely tracking the sun, but it's uh, pointing the wrong direction, so that's not a problem. So next, we're going to come over here to our horizontal uh, reader. We're going to take in the daylight sensor, but this time we're going to select the horizontal angle. Turn that on, just verify that we got the horizontal angle on the sensor. Perfect. Next, we're going to go over here to our math unit. We're going to take in the horizontal reader. We're going to leave it on add. Next, we're going to add the horizontal memory. Right now, that memory is set at zero, uh, which is not a problem. And then we're going to come over here, we're going to write out to our solar panels again. We're going to take in the horizontal math. And we're going to write out to the horizontal angle. And when we turn this on, swing around. Okay. So it is tracking the suns vertically. Um, obviously, uh, we're pointing the wrong direction. So now let's come over here our memory and let's change this value to something in a 90 degree offset so it's either going to be zero it's going to be a 90 180 or a 270 depending on where it's pointed so let's try 90 and see what we got well, that was obviously the wrong direction Alright, let's try 270. Perfect, there we go. Now our efficiency is 99%. We are getting maximum power from the solar panel. Um, that's it. That is dual tracking in a nutshell. Uh, super simple, super easy. Uh, just a little bit of guesswork is to figure out what uh, your horizontal uh, offset should be, um, but no big deal. Now, there's a lot of guides on the internet that tell you to point the top of the sensor to the north and the logic port to a certain direction. The logic port on the solar sensor or the solar panel needs to be pointed a certain direction. None of that matters. Now, there is a correlation between 
uh, the data ports on these items and if you arrange them in a certain direction you may not need to do the math but really all you're saving yourself is the horizontal memory and the horizontal math. You're still going to need everything else. It's not in my opinion worth messing with. You don't need to do it. You don't need to worry about it. Um, so this is this is it. This is all you got to do. It's nothing crazy. Um, but if you have any questions, just ask around on the Discord. There's a lot of helpful community members over there that will help you out. Um, and I hope you have a good day.